Welcome to the Tools Can Work Better Together presentation. My name is Paweł Głowacki and I'm Senior Software Consultant with Embarcadero Technologies. In today's episode I'm going to demonstrate Delphi and RapidSQL working together. I'm going to build a Delphi application that is going to display data from a complex query coming from a SQL Server database and specifically Northwind sample database that comes with a SQL Server. In Delphi, you can build great looking VCL Forms application that talks to the databases. There are a number of supported databases in, De in Delphi 2010. One of them is SQL Server. The first objective during building a database application in Delphi is to configure in a Data Explorer connection to a database that we want to use in our application. The first thing is to actually make sure that you can talk to a specified database. So if I right click on a Northwind node in the Data Explorer, I select Modify Connection, click on Test Connection to make sure that the connection can be established. So Northwind contains a number of tables and I can do many tasks inside the Data Explorer of Delphi. I can preview tables, I can preview the actual data stored in these tables, I can preview the metadata and even change the metadata of database tables. However, there are certain things that are very difficult or impossible to achieve using Data Explorer. Specifically, I cannot create new databases nor I cannot edit database objects or create database objects like tables, views, store procedures. So this is where Rapid SQL comes handy. Rapid SQL is a great tool for managed databases and author very performant SQL code. In this demonstration I have configured SQL Server to point to the same Northwind database. Inside Rapid SQL I can preview the different objects that are stored in a database and also I can modify them. So in this demonstration I'm going to generate a query that will show me all the employees and all customers to be, that belongs to these employees. So here what I can do, I can just right click on an employee table, actually on any of them, and I can select build query. This will start a new window where I can, in a visual manner, define my query. What I'm really interested in here is the list of the employees, so the last name of the employee. Notice that whenever I do anything graphically in the upper pane, the SQL statement is generated automatically for me. So I want to see the employee last name and also the customer uh, name that has some orders that was ordered via a given employee. So I need to have a complex statement. So employees will have an employee ID primary key. What I also want to see is the list of orders. So I'm going to add orders to the statement. So notice that the statement has been Redesigned and automatically the link was created based on the fields with the same name. So in both tables I have an employee ID and via employee ID these two tables were connected. But I'm not interested in any of the fields from the orders table. What I'm interested is the name of the customer. So I need to add to the this query also the customer table. This table contains two different fields with the names that matches other fields in other tables. So specifically, I'm not interested in making a connection using the postal code field, so I'm going to remove this connection. So now I have a more complex query that was generated for me, and what I'm really interested in is the name of the company. So now I have a last name of the employee, I have a company name, and now I can preview the SQL statement 
that was generated for me. In a second, I should see the preview, the preview of a data that will be returned from, it, from this SQL statement. Okay, this looks like a good choice, but I want to customize this query a little bit. So first of all, I want to have it ordered. So I can actually add to the order by clause also last name and the company name so this query is ordered. What I can also do is make sure that I have only a distinct pairs of employees and their customers. Okay, now I can run this query one more time and this looks like a good query. What I can do is I can copy this query to the clipboard and switch to Delphi. In Delphi, when I want to display this information, the first thing to do is to drag the database node from a data explorer to the VCL forms designer. This will generate a T-SQL connection component configured to, to point to a given database instance. I can see that the connected property can be set to true, which makes me confident that the everything works correctly. What I need to do is to add a bunch of components to display data using the query generated. So I'm going to use a I'm going to use a SQL query component. So this is a unidirectional database component that needs to be connected to the SQL connection and it has a SQL property that I can use to paste a query that was generated. Click on OK. If the active can be set to true, it means that everything works OK. I cannot display data from a SQL query in a DB grid directly because this is a unidirectional data set. What I need to do is to add a bunch of new components. I want to add a data set provider connected to my SQL query. I want to add a client data set, which is an in-memory disconnected data set. I need to connect it to the provider via its provider name property, add a data source, data source connect to the client data set, and the last component is dbgrid. I will uh, connect the dbgrid to the data source, and the moment when I set the client set data set property active to true, I should see data, live data, at design time. What I can also do is make sure that the DB grid occupies the whole screen. Now I'm ready to run my application. In this Delphi VCL Forms application, I see the list of employees and their companies. So in this demonstration, I have demonstrated using Rapid SQL and Delphi together. I have used Rapid SQL to generate a complex SQL statement and Delphi 2010 to display these results of this statement in a VCL Forms application. Thank you very much.